Hello everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing City Folk! I still really need to write those letters I was gonna write. Um, there we go. Get over to this. Miss watering my turnip. It, no. There we go. <laughs> it's definitely watered now. Um, okay, now, what to, is that? Aha! What to do today, what to do today. Well, here is, um, Gabby. Hey, hey, Steven. Woohoo, honey bun. Walking time, walking time, time to get all fit and stuff, honey bun. I just ate like 50 pounds of peach crisp, crisp so I'm feeling kind of bloated. Fair enough. Uh, we might as well pop in and see Wart Jr. We know he's moving out soon, but, you know. Maybe get a final look at his house before he packs things up. It's a very nice, peaceful house. With a gyrid that more or less just farts, but, you know. Hey, Steven. Just decided to drop in and say hi, did you? Youngsters are so spontaneous. So, listen to this. When I was in the city the other day, I came across this kid with the hugest smile ever. I figured he was being polite or something, but then he says, Looking good, mister. I wonder what he was up to. Fair enough. I mean, he might have been up to something. A little sad that, that he's moving out. Now, I... Please! Oh, you kind of scared me a little. Hi, Steven. Hey, I was just thinking... I look all street smart and stuff, but not book smart. I need a... Derry Ecker's skull, that'd look smart and be able to ask questions about politics and whatever. Mind going out and finding a... Hmm. If I find one, I'm gonna give it to the museum. As I'm... Yeah, you know, I will say I'm gonna try. And we need to get our bug nut out. No, don't do that. No. Oh, yeah, our houses are about the same size. Uh, Desired sensibilities. Well, it's totally win! Yeah, I know, I'm trying to... No, don't talk! Ah! This is kind of annoying thing. I don't think I can just hold out the bug net, can I? Or can I? No, I can't. Uh, wait, if I... Can I... There we go. Need to use this. Got a flea! Itchy, itchy. Ugh, ew, 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 ew. I'm not dirty, am I? I don't want you to think I'm gross, honey bun. Oh, but you are... F you are flea-free now. So, that that's good. That's just something that can kind of happen occasionally, is your animals will get fleas. Uh, well, you can catch the fleas off of them. Yeah, that was a little itchy. Oh, there's a thing in the bulletin board. Tomorrow's the flea market. If you take time to visit a bunch of homes, you might soon be able to grab something on the cheap. Wait, shouldn't the flea market be on Saturdays? Because that's actually something to note. It's today, today is Saturday, so I guess flea market's on Sundays. Okay, well that makes things a lot more convenient. Yeah, dig a shovel if I can find it. There we go. Finding the tools in this game can be a bit of a pain. I did not mean to do that. It would've been kind of funny if I just randomly dug up a mole cricket doing that. 
Alright, that was our pitfall. I was about to say, oh, hey, thing right in the corner, but no, that was our pitfall. I put it there. I can remember things. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I forgot. Um... That was a bad joke. I apologize. Uh... Hmm. I'm still trying to think of what we're actually going to do today. I suppose we could do some fishing, because it's, you know... It's been a little while. There's another pill bug. We already have pill bug. We can just let him continue being a pill bug. Yeah, let's talk to uh, Lucy. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Steven, I seem to have lost my house key and I'm locked out, Snook. I'm sorry, but if you find a key lying around, would you let me know? It might be mine. I'll let you know. Okay, so animals can lose things. I swear, if she somehow gets back... <coughs> back into her house before, you know, if I find the key and bring it back to her. I'm going to be very disappointed with her. I hear you, Mole Cricket. I don't care about you, Mole Cricket. So I guess that's something we have to do today. We have to help Lucy find her house key. Weed. There's Amelia. Um, I'll talk to her if she's still there, because I plan on taking a little walk right back down that way. So... Just want to check this rock. Nope. I always have such bad luck at finding those. Yep, she is still here. Oh, hello, Steven. Hope you're doing well. My room was once chosen to be a model room, you know. The trick is understanding the theme and display it well, and display it well, cuz. Fair enough. So Lyle seems to be pretty lazy when it comes to picking a new theme. He's just did, he's just done the same theme twice. Not this rock. Hmm. Let's see if I can find Lucy's key. Like, jeez. <laughs> Tower is so big, I can understand why if she dropped it, she'd lose it. Um, doesn't help that I, I kind of always just go fast everywhere. Um, so if it has been on screen, I probably missed it because I, I, like I said, I just, I just go fast. Gotta go fast. It's not this rock. No, I don't think it would be, because it's right by Nooks. And that would just be convenient. Um, hmm. There's a weed right here. Anything visible back here? Whoops, wrong one. And I need to find the shovel again. There we go. <clears throat> Hmm. Oh, well, here's our money rock, so that's good. And last bag of money we can get. At the very least, we can get 8,100 bells. It still feels like less bells than it probably should be. But you know what? That's fine. We, we don't need a bunch of bells. It's not like we're in quite heavy debt to Tom Nook, and the, the the rock overlords are not giving us many bells. There's that down there. Um, Danny Lloyd down too. No, don't menu it. Put it. Up. No, put put it. Th yeah, there we go. Inventory's a little bit of a mess, but it's it's good enough. Um, keep the shovel out. Could she maybe have lost her key down by the beach, I wonder. Well, I'm gonna check over here. Because, I mean... Over here is a pretty... Pretty opportune place to lose things. Hmm... 
Not in the little nook. Surprised he doesn't have a sign declaring it to be Nook's Nook. Um... I apologize if I'm being, uh, I apologize if I'm being really quiet, I just, I have no idea where to even look. Yo, Steven, you're looking stoked. Did you steal that look from me, kapow? Oh hey, check this out. See these clothes I threw on? You think I could wear them out in the boat, kapow? You're looking good. Yeah? Phew, man. If you say I'm looking good, uh, looking burly, I know it's high core. For each core. I'm just gonna wear this around town just to show everyone what's up. Fair enough. You are number one. Um, hmm. No, honeybee. Whoops. Sorry, Ma. Yo there, you're Steven. I have a killer idea, KG. Wouldn't it be rad if we had something we said to each other every time we talked? You know, something we say to each other to crank up the pumpage. Sure. Right? You're pumped about this, right? Let's sing us something that thunders like lightning. It's the greeting. Um... Well, he wants it to thunder like lightning. So... Um, unless it's a pump. Yeah, let's just go bam. It works. And it's not bang, so we're not stealing anything from Lyle. This is, this, this is a parody. Bam. <laughs> ah, so I just to say bam. Yep. Bam! Whoa! That's got some kick to it, huh? Sweet! I'm gonna start dropping that into my vocab right now, KG. Good. It's what I wanted to have happen. I... I suck at those things. Um... I have not seen... Oh, keep getting stuck. Not seen anything on the ground. Is that actually a thing I can find? Is her key? I don't know. I'm gonna keep looking around. I mean, I'll take another look around later. Because we are going to be back for the KK concert. Hmm. I think it's safe to say I searched over here pretty thoroughly. the point of, in real life, I would just ask them, you know, if they could remember the last place they had it, and I'd just go search from there. Um, and if that was just the last place they remember having it was their house, I'd just start there. You know. This is all we like. Um, could buy another axe, but we already have an axe. Um... What's this? Is it? No. Never. Never a citrus wall. Wait. How was I looking at the wall? I was looking at the flooring. Tartan rug. Let's see it. Ah. Yeah, I don't really like that. I mean, it looks kind of neat, but I also don't like it. Uh, I don't really like any of that either. White roses? I like white roses. Red tulip bag. Yeah, I'll take it. 
Um. Hmm. You know, I'm going to buy this. If I if I can. There we go. Pine bonsai. Yep, I will take it. And I'm going to try and make sure to tonight write some letters. And that's going to go to Wart Jr. As kind of a going away gift. Now, um... Hmm. Well, let's come over to like... Oh, well there's something right here. I missed. Gyroid! Clankoid! Fair enough. Oh, there's another thing like right here. And I missed. I was so good at digging under my own feet, now I'm not. Here's a fossil! Fair enough. Whoops. Very this... Fine. And now I'm just going to try searching basically just up and down from here. Just looking. Because her key has to be around somewhere. Assuming I can actually find it. Hmm. You know what, let's go... She was telling us about it over this way. I should try and find where her house is. I mean, she was telling us, like, down here kind of thing. So... Yeah, this is her house, so... In theory, it'll be around here. Hmm... Slowly turning into a Yoshi. Um, I I seriously have no idea. Um, undoubtedly, one of you has probably seen it, and I haven't. <laughs> I thought it's a case of like you have to fish it up from somewhere. Which, honestly, I wouldn't be terribly too surprised if that was the case. Yeah, let's talk to her again. I've looked all over town, but I still can't find my key. You know, the only place I haven't looked is in the river. Yep, okay. Need to fish it out. So, in other words, I might have possibly already scared away her key. <laughs> Which is just great, you know? One... Two! Bluegill! Well, I wanted to do some fishing today anyway, so, I mean... This just kind of works out. One, two, key! Well, there we go. Let see, I got your key. I spent all that time running around looking at around the actual town. And you should have just told me you haven't looked in the river yet. Can't believe how embarrassing it is losing your key, Snoop. This key? Oh! Awesome! Yes, this is my key, Snoop. Thank goodness. I was afraid I'd never be able to get back in my house. Oh, Steven, how can I ever thank you enough? Here, it's not much, but this lab wall should show you how much I appreciate your help. Fair enough. That's a decent little chunk of bells. I won't ever forget what you did, Steven. Snoop. Fair enough. Let's see if I can find, like, I think I have room for, like, one more fish. Yeah. 
Let's try and catch one more fish. There we go. Let's hope the fish notices. Kind of have to sneeze. Hey, it knows. This looks like something new, maybe. Pale chub, chub adapt. No, okay, we already have one of those. I think. I'm gonna check with Blathers to see if we already have one. I kinda wish it would just dim out the things we've already donated, but then how could Blathers scold you for trying to donate something twice? Um, you know. Hey, buddy. I beg your pardon, a bit of a night owl. Yes, I know. Can I assist you? Yeah, uh, I want to check the exhibits. And I want to check fish. Pale chub. Okay, yeah, we already have one. Yeah, I, I know. I'm I'm working on it, buddy. I have some donations for you. Firstly, we have a flea. Because I know you're not going to like it the most. So there's a flea! Stop! Do not free it! Leave the beast caged! Insects rather bother me. You know, have you ever f had a chance to look at a flea close up and personal? They're utterly noisium, nauseum, whatever. Especially vulgar are their flattened bodies which allow them to wriggle into all sorts of places. Oh mercy, I may need to sit on the floor for a moment. All this talk of fleas has me rather woozy. Fair enough. I mean, it would kind of have me like that too, so I mean... Fossil! Identified fossil, yep. Please identify it. Yep, I, I pushed... I didn't... Di uh, blathers, please! I did not push B. I was holding B. There's a difference. There's a difference. Donation. Have the fossil finger off of B. Identified fossil, I should think. To donate this, I should first have to identify it. Please do. Hmm, fascinating. Not fossil. Aha! This is a stego skull. Fair enough. We now have a stegosaurus skull. It's done! The stegosaurus is all done! Yeah! Absolutely spectacular! The stegosaurus appeared in the middle of the days of the dinosaurs. Its defining characteristics were the plates extending out of its back. These were actually bones. They were used to regulate, regulate the beastie's body temperature, much as an elephant uses its ears. Its brain was so small if you stop... If you stomped its tail, it would not feel it for some time, or so they say. Who? I beg your pardon. I was so enthralled, I... I spouted hot air like a boiling teapot. Hey, what? You should do anything else. Not today. I'm, I'm kind of out of things to donate for today. We are going to go have some coffee, though. I actually have coffee with me today. I'm sitting on my desk getting cold. Um, let's get a kind of like coffee semi-cold. Say, don't mean to intrude, but I see you... So you've got a gyro right there. You like them? I don't tell a lot of people this, but I'm a collector myself. Amazing little things, aren't they? Not much to look at, not at a glance. And then you hear your first, and... I'm sure you know what I mean. And so, you start experimenting, blending one with another. Changes everything. Like coffee beans, I suppose. Cool. Collecting them's a chore, though. You got a technique? I understand. Trade secret. But listen, I'm renting a storage unit here, and I've got some space. I wouldn't mind seeing what other gyroids are out there, so you want to store yours in here with mine? Yes, please. This is a thing that Brewster could do, apparently. Is you can store gyroids with him. I did not know this. A clankoid. It's a fine, it's in fine condition too, cool. Don't worry, I take exceptional care of gyroids. I know what they mean to a collector. Whenever you want one back, say the word. Hey! Care for a cup of joe? With two on your bells, you have ferret blend? I use it. Here you go. One cup of the house blend. Fair enough. I'm drinking French vanilla coffee. 
Just tastes like standard coffee, but smells like French vanilla. Even got you a clean cup. Now drink up. Thank you. Hooey! This coffee's got so much punch it'll knock the change out of your pockets. Pure bliss. I almost I almost got into a Rick and Morty bit there. Um But nope, that that's that's too not family friendly for this channel. Um <laughs> So tonight, we're going to have KK showing up, but for now, we're going to run over to Nook's so I can sell a few things, and then I'll probably just meet you back later tonight, after we do that. Oh, I keep kicking flowers back. So well, we should go add our flowers to our flower garden. That would probably be a good idea. Still feel like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna sneeze. Yes, tell me what I can do for you. I want to sell. I want to sell the dandelion, the bluegill, the lab wall, the pale chub, and yeah, that's everything. 735 bells. It's decent. Tomorrow will be turnip day, and I'm going to set a new rule for myself. If they're under 105 bells, I will buy them. And I will buy as many as I can. Oh, excuse me. Mostly because if we can manage to get another week where they're, where we could uh, sell them for like 200 bells, that would be nice. I mean, the higher amount we pay for them, the more likely it'll be we won't be able to make a profit. Or at least not a big profit. Plant the red tulips. Plant the white roses. There we go. And I think I will just meet you all back here later tonight for the KK concert. So, see you then. And we are back! Now we come down into here! And... We see... KK! Now, while I'm thinking of it, there was a request for the song today. I forgot to write it down. I'm gonna need to quickly go find that. <laughs> Casually opening YouTube on my PC right next to me. C come on, Chrome. You can exist. Uh, there we go. Not Imager, YouTube. I don't browse Imager. What are you talking about? Uh, 
Notifications should be right in here. <laughs> I can't find it. Tickets. Oh, my computer might start making noise. No computer. Bad computer. Okay, now, where, where was the first Saturday? Oh, this. Uh, I apologize for this. I might need to do a cut while I go find this. Ah, okay. Found it. Hey, Steven, you here for a song? You know it. Cool. Listen, don't spread it around, but I'm taking requests if you've got an itch for an old favorite. You can belt out the name of a song, or just tell me how you're feeling. It's all cool with me. I know a song. Name your lick, and I'll belt it out. Your, gro your groovitude. Now, let's hope I do this right. Uh... Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know if there's two dots. I'm going to go look this up because I do not want to mess up. So another quick cut. Okay, so there is another dot. Cool. I, I know this is... Whoops. No, not one of those. Not, not a comma. Period. And there's been a lot of cuts here, but I want to get it right. Mellow, I can dig that. Now don't be a square. Pull up a chair. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here today. Alright, Hepcats. Here's a little ditty for Steven. It's called Aging KK. Well, actually, it's for red paper. Quick, 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 quick,
Was nice. Hey, I'm thinking about I need to put this back up. This up. There, there we go. Hey, thanks for listening. Check out your pockets. I laid I laid a boot on for you, Agent KK. For your charge, man. I'm not in it for the gravy. My music's too pure for that commercial scene. Slip in the box back at your pad, and you could listen to my tunes anytime. You be sure to drop on by and catch my act again. I'll be around. Cool. Now we have a song to play at our at our at the box. Blah, 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 I can speak. To play at the box at our pad, as KK said. But we're actually going to quickly head into town because I want to see if possibly those traffic cones are moved. Here you, mole cricket. I don't care, mole cricket. Do I still have my umbrella with me? Yes, I do. Cool. I'm gonna carry it into town. Bus to the city. I will take it. Hey, Captain. Here comes Captain's advice. Yar, tell me something, ye fragment mud skipper. Or oh, fragment mud skipper. Is me nose gone mad, or are ye wearing cologne? Ye are, ye fancy pants. Getting yourself all polished up for the lasses, are ye? Ye slippery trout. Start smelling nice and talking glib. You're, you're glib, ain't ye? You're a bit you're glib. You're glib. Uh, well, me fancy... Well, me fancy fellow, the city just be past the bend. Let's hope your lines are more subtle than your smell. Remember, smooth talking and sweet smelling ain't gonna win ye a nice lass. Ye gots to be a gentleman. That is good advice. Captain always has good advice for you. Even when he's singing at you. Which comes from the next game. Wait, is that someone else we know? And who is that on the right? I need to... Who are you? Pearl. <laughs> Pearl. I should get my fortune told as well, kitten. Of course, I'm sure it's good. Mary? I don't go to the Marquis very often. The theaters are kind of weird and smelly and artsy and whatever. Besides, I could take the money from four Marquis visits and, like, go to the salon. Tea. This is Pierce! It is someone we know. Sometimes there's a dude here who gives out balloons around here, gives up. Gives balloons around. Ever seen him? There's me. He has a so cool Hawkeye. Here it is. There was someone else around. Where did they go? Right there. there they are. Caesar. I came by to check out the auction house. It's nice to keep an eye out for bargains there. Of course, I never remember to bring all the boxes of junk I've got home to sell. Right. Auction house. Let's pop in here. Cause it's the 24th. I keep forgetting, I, I keep forgetting about it. Just so welcome to the auction house, my good man. My auction house is currently accepting items for display. It has nothing currently, as far as I can tell. I don't think we have anything on us to display. Like, we could put up the pine pine bonsai, but I was kind of saving that. You know, I might see if I can put up the green zap helmet. Yes, hmm, how can I be of assistance? Display item. Yes, I see. Well, which I am, sir, which to display. Green zap helmet. So I truly wish to display his fabulous green zap helmet. Display it. Very good, sir. And now our reserve price must be determined. Um. Let's set that at 200. Because I forget what we paid for it. So, 200. I truly wish to set his reserve price at some of 200. Do it. Very good. I shall inform the sir of the auction result in the local mail. Cool. So now that's just there. 
fair enough. I don't understand how this works at all. But you know what? We have a thing up now. So, I guess it's... I, I don't... I don't know. Um... Now, I want to head way down over this way. Oh, they're not moved. Okay. It's random nights, so I can't just, like, go in and out of a building to get it done up. I don't recognize any of the villagers here, so we're not going to talk to anybody. Um, anything down this way? No. Okay. Wish I could just run into the road. I mean, there's no cars coming by. That would be the danger. Car randomly comes by. Um, hmm. Just throw my umbrella. Bustella effects. Here we go. Yep. I also want to go visit the Able Sisters before they close. And I believe they close at 9. So we got like half an hour to get there. It's a good thing this bus ride doesn't take any time at all. Really. Well, it takes like a couple minutes. But that's not really any time at all. Not for Animal Crossing anyway. Now like a real bus ride from like a city to, you know... A smaller area like that would probably be a couple hours. At least an hour. That's what it's like here. Well, how'd the city treat you, me, we trouterfish? Your smile will be just about ear to ear. I take you bumped into a cute lass. Arr, lasses. I don't be understanding them. But gar, if I could live, if I could live without them. Of course, perhaps they'd be wishing they could make sense of us gents as well. Right, Sprats? Looks like we about to cruise into Halifax. That be some good bonding we just did, Yar. Here we'll stay manly and mysterious, Sprat. We gots to keep the lasses on their wee little toes. Also decently good advice. Well, not exactly the stay manly thing. Because really, what is manly? We, we can't really... We, we can't really put a, a, a solid onto that. But mysterious, yeah. I mean, I'm totally mysterious. I'm, I'm wearing a hood. Hoods are mysterious. <laughs> a hood with pink ears and like a little pink shirt on. Let's pop into the Able Sisters. No, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Hey there, welcome to the handmade fashion place of the Able Sisters. Um, hmm. I believe there is nothing on display right here. Yeah, that's about the response I was expecting. Hi, Steven. Welcome. Thanks so much for making our shop your favorite. Tee hee. Gee, sis, you've become fast friends with Steven, huh? Oh, Mabel, when do you think Steven might come by today? Tee hee. Not even noon, and you're thinking about that? M mabel <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> These two are so cute. Like, they're adorable. Thanks, you come back now. I wish they had stuff I'd want to buy. I don't even know if the clothing set I like the most even exists in this game. I'm hoping it does, because I really like it. Uh, it's basically just armor, but I really like how it looks. Um, I hear you, Mole Cricket. No, I don't care, Mole Cricket. I'm not gonna ever catch another one of you unless I absolutely have to. Um, we'd do some fishing, but we spent a lot of time today. Just kind of ro roaming around, so I don't really, don't really want to spend too much time on this part. I hear you, Mulk. There's two of them. There's two of them. There's there. There's there's two of them. Here, in this area, there's two mole crickets. Why is no going home? Into home. We are we are going. The mole crickets are spreading. They're starting to take over everything. Just flee to the right, we need to put the song in them. I can't just flee to the upstairs. I don't understand how this staircase works. It goes left and then somehow comes up into a nearly equivalent sized room. Alright, uh add music. Agent KK. You gotta ruin everything, you. The rest of them are decent. This one seems... Okay, no, that one is running. No, no, we'll turn this one back on. He's trying his best. 
But there we go. I apologize, uh, Red Paper, that, you know, the, the in-home version is all these gyroids. But, you know what? The gyroids add to it. At least this one does, because he's pretty good at following the beat. The rest of them, they're trying their best. So give, give them a bit of a break there. Now we can come up and head to bed. Um, so I thank you all very much for watching, and hope to see you again next time for more Animal Crossing City Folk. See you all then.